I didn't want to think you'd try that. Try what? Come on up to my place and we'll talk this over. Well, we really can't discuss it here in any meaningful way. Ah, uh, meaningful as from the middle of your bed. Well, it's a nice bed. It has a view of Central Park <sighs> and... It... Come on, Wes. Okay. All right, let's, let's, let's try this another way. Now, you like me, don't you? Come on. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> And I like you, too. A lot. I think you're incredibly attractive. <laughs> now, you have written a press release about your brother, which could blow his campaign right out of the water, <laughs> lose you your job, and generally fix things so that your family will never speak to you again. It was a dumb joke. It may or may not be a joke. In any event, I am the only columnist in the city who did not let Frank, Jack, talk me into giving it back to you. Mm -hmm. Now that means I have a possible exclusive on what could be the best story of the entire senatorial campaign. Well, that depends on just what kind of story you're in the habit of writing. Mm -hmm. True stories, different stories, stories that sell newspapers, even though there aren't any newspapers to sell in New York right now, but they love it in New Jersey, but that's not the point. <laughs> The point is that I have the press release, and you want it. Yeah. yeah. Now, you are a very appealing lady who has <laughs> hundreds of other things on her mind. And I see nothing wrong whatsoever in using this rather remarkable document <laughs> to get you to focus your attention where I want it, which is on me. <laughs> <laughs> That's crass. No, Siobhan, it's not crass. If we didn't like each other, that could be crazy. No, 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 wait crass. a minute, stop. It's, this is blackmail. It is blackmail. <laughs> yes. That's true. <laughs> but while I like you, and in fact, because I like you, I am not going up to your apartment under these circumstances. You're not? No. Wh why? Wouldn't be any fun. You don't know that. You don't have any proof to substantiate that conclusion. <sighs> well, I know me, and I would be mad, and I would feel coerced, and there'd be nothing spontaneous or fun about it, and I am not going. And that is that. But will you give me that press release back anyway? is a piece of paper which could conceivably cost your brother the entire election and which would quite probably cause you to lose the goodwill of your entire family. Only if you publish it, in whole or in part. Uh -huh. Now you know that I would be very glad to give it back to you in exchange for a few pleasant hours in my company. I can't accept the fact that it would be anything but pleasant. Huh. Now. Unfortunately, you have turned me down flat. Is yeah. That correct. Mm -hmm. It's just a pity that I'm such a sucker for principle since I have so little of it myself. Ah, I hate to do this. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm your friend for life. Whoa. <laughs> well, that's good. Friendship is something. Yeah. Friendship is something. Well, so what about this uh, victory campaign celebration uh, something? What? Oh, right. My parents are having a private party for Frank at Ryan's tonight. Oh, we hope to be celebrating his victory in the senatorial primary. <laughs> uh, I'd, I'd be so pleased if you'd come as my guest. Delighted. Okay. Oh, first, can we have some dinner? I'm starving. Yeah. Split the check. No, 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 no. I invited you, so... <laughs> okay. Why don't you think of what you want to order, and I'm going to go and make a phone call. Uh, a friend of the family is really sick in the hospital. We're all very worried about her, but I haven't had any news since this afternoon. Oh, 
Not to tell. Don't tell Tom. No one told Tom anything, Faith. The Pat was on the boat. The Pat was at the wheel of the boat. Is that right? Oh, don't tell him, please. Shh. I won't tell. Tom, he been so angry. Yes. I... Mr. Desmond, please. Dr. Coleridge would like you to join him and his sister outside. No. May I suggest that... You may not suggest. Oh, it hurts. Oh. Tell Roger I think they better get back in here. It hurts. I don't want to go. No. Knife. No knife. I want water. Daddy? Does she know what she's talking about? Uh, on and off. What was she doing in that damn boat to begin with? Um, come, come on, relax, all right? Daddy? Faith? Faith? It's not good. And I think we ought to be prepared for almost any kind of news about Faith tonight. Patrick, I thought they found the right antibiotic. All I can say is that her temperature is still just under 103 degrees. She had no reserves to fight off an infection to begin with. And now it's just gone on too long. Should I be there? No. Roger sent me over here and said he'd call. Jill's with her, and so is Tom. Carl and I think you should be here for Frank, at least until we know the situation's changed. Where is Siobhan, anyway? She phoned me at the hospital a few minutes ago. What'd she say? Just asking about Faith. Did she say where she was calling from? Lems. So far, so good. Now look, Faith is not going to die. Not for a long time, anyway. And especially not on the night that your son is going to win the primary election. She'd never do that. She'd think it was bad manners. Come here. That's true. That's just the way Faith would think. <laughs> How's Tom, anyway? Taking it hard. I just try to stay out of his way. Oh, here's Siobhan. Siobhan! What? No, no, no. Haven't heard a thing for 20 minutes. Where have you been? Fraternizing with the press. Oh, you all should be the first to know I'm in love. Oh. <laughs> this is Wes Leonard. And my mother, my father. Hi, Mr. Leonard. This is my brother, Pat. Hello. And my sister, Mary Finelli. Hello. You, you don't know me, but I know you. You made me a fan of Channel R News. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> you and Jack are uh, old friends, of course. Wes, Jack, I think it's a good omen that you're with us tonight. Well, Siobhan invited me, and how do you resist Siobhan? Uh, uh. <laughs> Forgive me for asking, Mr. Leonard, but uh, we never are very sure with Siobhan here. Is she in love with you? I, I hope so. I don't know. <laughs> I'm working on it, Mother. <laughs> what they need is another maverick journalist in the family. Oh, sure. <laughs> Siobhan, could I talk some business with you? Sure. Excuse us. Be right back. Be nice to him. He's been nice to me. Be glad to be nice to old Wes, as long as I can keep my eye on him. Do you get the feeling that there's something's going on that we don't know about? Well, there usually is, isn't there? Mm. <laughs> well, this should be a very exciting evening for you here. Your son is just about to become a candidate for the United States Senate. Uh, we hope so. Oh, well, from your mouth to God's ear, Mr. Leonard, but the polls are not closed yet. Right. Ah, they closed two minutes ago. We should be hearing something very soon. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mary. Here it is. I, I don't know what went wrong. I must have picked up the wrong release and duplicated it. Well, it's not so important that we know how it happened. What I'm really interested in is how we're going to make sure that it doesn't happen again. Before anything goes out of the press office, we'll read it. Twice. Yeah. Beyond that. Look, I don't want to have to fire you. But if there's a suggestion of trouble, I will. I know you will. And I'd hate it. Well, I wouldn't like it very much myself. So be careful. Promise me. Hey, everybody! Hey, for heaven's sake. He did it! He did it! Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. All right, let's hear for the next senator from the state of New York, Frank Ryan! Oh. Here is our candidate now. <laughs> and this 
this is the lady who made it all possible. All right. No matter what else you can say about her, that part's true. Now, uh, this is the first time the Ryans have had uh, anything to do with a statewide election. So, uh, says to myself, maybe I should try to think of something uh, very important and statesmanlike to say. <laughs> something uh, befitting the father of a candidate to the United States Senate. But then I said to myself, no. <laughs> These gatherings, at Ryan's victory gatherings, assuming as I did that this would be a victory gathering. Yeah. Yeah. These gatherings at Ryan's on election night have come to mean something a lot more than that. Something a lot more personal. This is when our family and our friends <laughs> gather around and Think about all the weeks of hard work just finished. And look forward, in this case, tomorrow the same, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> and to look at each other and to say, we've come to know each other a little more, love each other a little better. Because we've worked hard together for something and someone that we believe in. And to tell Frank, that we're proud of him, because our hopes for him, his mother's and mine, as well as yours, go right on being fulfilled. And because he justifies those hopes by what he is, who he is, and what he does. And because, and this is the easiest of all, because he's a winner, right? <laughs> and I want to tell you, Frank, that you can count on us for anything. And I think you're going to be the best senator of the state of New York ever. <laughs> now, what you just heard was vintage John Ryan. Yeah, excuse me. Gentlemen. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you for everything. But this, <laughs> this is worth three years waiting. Hey, so this is what bet. makes tonight even better. Yeah. <laughs> oh. hey. okay. Hannah, from me to you, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you, Patrick. You're going to take it all away to Washington? We hope. We know. We sure don't know. <laughs> hey, Ray, I really think that the mother of the candidate also deserves congratulations. Why, well, thank you, Ray. And yourself, too. Oh, isn't it an exciting night? Well, politically speaking, I would say that it's the best night of Francis's life. Personally, too. From now on, he's going to have all the support he needs and deserves to fulfill all those expectations that Johnny was talking about. Hey, Ma. Want a beer? No, I only have one. Oh, but I would like you to give me a hand with the supper things. You'll excuse us, Ray. Oh, sure. You just show me what and Patty and I'll do it. Potato salad and ham. Mm, what else? Uh, deviled eggs and coleslaw. <laughs> Robert Reed, yes. what do you think of our candidate here, huh? Well, <laughs> I'll tell you, it's a park price and campaign funds in a shoebox. Carl <laughs> Schrick, remember, we do have to be downtown around 11 o'clock tonight. No problem, all right. But I don't want to take you away from here right now. Mm -hmm. Wasn't Johnny fantastic? Oh. I kept wishing we could do a couple of TV spots around here. Oh, no. he would He'd love it. it. Oh, no. Of course. Get Great Greg idea. to do some spots with Maeve and Johnny and as many of the brothers and Let's sisters as we can get together. They would. Uh, I'm sure they would. I'm sure they would. Oh, that's a wonderful idea. <laughs> uh, right, bye. I'm sorry, I had to call the hospital. I've got a patient in recovery. It's okay. Hey, sit down and put the dressing on the coleslaw, will you? Sure. Well, how you doing? Well, not so great, as a matter of fact. This is the stuff? Yeah, because of Faith? Yep. I hope everything's all right over there. Me too. Hey, tell me something. What? How do you take this, you know, all this going on for Frank? 
<laughs> Depend on you to go right for the. You know, to be truthful tonight, after Dom made the toast, it was the first time in a long while that any of that old sibling stuff even crossed my mind. I stopped competing with Frank in med school. Ha. Huh. How would you know? You weren't even around. Ryan's never stopped competing. Oh, that makes me tired. Well, it's true. You know it. Frank's going to be president of the world before he's through. And on her way to the grave, Mary Ryan's going to sit up in her coffin and say, Driver, beat that red light. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll be on your motorcycle racing the hearse to the cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> You're so macabre. Oh, I missed you. <laughs> Likewise. You know what I'd like? Is some time to get closer to Da. The business with Delia, the, the whole scene for the past couple of years has just sidetracked me. Not professionally, that's good, right there. It's just with the family. You know what I mean? But who's competing, right? <laughs> Two! <laughs> Francis Xavier Michael Ryan, uh, Senator! Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you. So, babe. anyway, uh... <laughs> Genius! I have another one. Uh, what is it, John? Is it fake? <laughs> gonna be all right. That's what we came to tell you. <laughs> the fever broke. <laughs> oh, Jim, isn't that splendid? Uh, the uh, oh, antibiotic finally took hold and her temperature's going down. Oh. Run away home for a decent night's sleep. No, 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 you can't leave without having a drink. Oh, it's a victory celebration. You have to stay. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> primary night. We um, forgot all about it. We well, you had one or other two things on your mind, but Francis did win and we're happy and now we're happier still. Oh, come on, sweetie. <laughs> Thomas, you look exhausted. It's been a long pull, Meg. Where's Pat? Hey, somebody ought to tell Pat. Jill, that's, uh, that's the best news I've heard all night. Thanks. Congratulations on the election. Thank you. <laughs> hey, come on, I gotta put you down in the booth. Yeah. Take a few deep breaths. I'll get you a little brandy and snap you together right away. That would be that? great, Johnny. I'd love it. I'll be right back. Okay. Don't move. No. Nope. You know, I'd, I really would love to go over and tell her how happy and relieved I am. Your sister's all right. Do you think you'll be all right? <laughs> Frank, congratulations. Mom just told me it was a bigger margin than you expected. Yeah, it was. Listen, you know what Dr. Porter and Stan are? No, no. I don't know if you're doing it. Yeah, I don't know. Jill, I'd just like to say that I'm very, very happy and very relieved to hear that your sister is going to be better. Thank you. Seems to be an exciting night all around, isn't it? Well, we worked very hard, and I guess we got exactly what we deserved. Yeah, some of us worked harder than any of us even imagined. Well, if that is true, the rewards are well worth the effort. Tell me something, if I can. How soon before it happened did you really, did you really want to go to bed with Frank? From the very first minute I met him. But I didn't act on that impulse until he invited me. Ray? Hmm? Ray, I've got somebody up here that wants to meet oh, you. Wonderful. There you are, my sweetheart. Uh, Have a bit of that. Can you sit? Sure, why not? All right, you see. <laughs> hey, Tom. It's great news, and I wanted to tell you how glad I am. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Give Faith our best, and tell her I hope to see her soon. Uh, Pat. 
I know I asked you before, but we were interrupted. Now, I'd appreciate any information that you can give me about the accident. I still don't know who was there, who was at the wheel, or what emergency care Faith got on board, or what she was doing with the knife in the first place. Look, I'm sorry. I wish I could help you, but I can't. <laughs> Hey, I can't tell you how happy everybody is. But... Mary. Well, who'd you think? Tom, are you okay? Yeah, I I'm tired. Hey, Tom. <laughs> who just left now? I don't know. I guess maybe Roger. Are you sure you're all right? Yes, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. <clears throat> what if you could change your past? Erica does every week because sometimes the only way to move forward is to go back. A new original primetime drama, Being Erica, Thursdays at 10 on SoapNet.